Bob Pilger here. I got pro cruiserweight Brian Holstein here. We're do he's doing uh, demonstrating how to work the maze ball. The maze ball is made popular by Cus Diamato with, with his work, his genius work with Mike Tyson. Um, Tyson in his prime was a product of uh, the genius Diamato system that fit him perfectly. And they used a lot of simple tools over and over and over again to program Mike. And Mike spent a lot of rounds, like Brian's doing right there, using the maze ball. Yep, yeah, short, tight. You just want to get this, you want to set it up, and you want to, when you slip to the side, this short, tight slips, right. What made Mike, what this did for Mike in his prime was, you know, Mike's defense set up his offense. A lot of his knockouts came from him slipping a punch, yet being in position to land a punch. His defense fed his offense. Watch his clips in the prime. Do not watch post Rooney, Mike Tyson. That was not Mike Tyson. That was a far cry from Mike Tyson. It was, um, you know, it was a humiliation to the genius work that Diamato and, and the arm of Diamato Rooney put in with Mike. But again, this is these little tools. There is no muscle memory. Do not think that whoever says that to you is it's, it's ridiculous. There is motor engramming, motor engramming, a stored movement pattern in the brain. That's what this does. Read the book Super Brain by Deepak Chopra. Read books like that. Talent is overrated. The Talent Code. Uh, I think it's called the Little Red Book of Talent. All those books will, will make you aware of what this type of training does for a fighter. It molds them. See how he keeps moving his head side to side. Keep the hands up. He, and, and a good way to do this too. A good way uh, time to do this too is, you know, the truth comes out when you're fatigued after a rough sparring session. A, grueling sparring session after doing punching intervals on the heavy bag come in and work on your defense that's the best time to do it in a fatigued state to really ingrain it and you know get that nice movement pattern stored in that nervous system to where when you need it in the fight it's there we are what we repeatedly do how we train is how we it reflects in the ring it comes out the truth comes out in the ring tapia when he fought the other night on HBO, in how he had no defense, no head movement. He couldn't block punches. He fell apart. He had no footwork. He couldn't defend himself. Little tools like this give you that defense. This is only one aspect of defense, yes, the head movement. But Brian can kind of, like, cut to the side a little bit, roll off that front foot and work it that way. There's different ways to, move, to use this maze ball. But you're teaching defense. You're, you're ingraining defense in you. Head movement. Head movement is lacking in a lot of fighters nowadays. I'm not some genius. I just learned from the old school trainers the truth. You see, a, you know, Mike Tyson. Tommy Morrison did it well, too. His hook, he would knock motherfuckers out with that beautiful left hook of his back in the day. The late, great Tommy to Duke Morrison. He'd move his head. You freeze a guy when you move your head. You freeze him for a second because he can't hit you. There's not a target. And when you freeze him for a second, boom, you can, you can do what you want to him. You cause a guy to doubt, you cause your opponent to doubt yourself, you own him. You cause a, your opponent to doubt himself, you own him. So that's what these little tools do. So just start off side to side. Yeah. Short, cut tight side to side. Yep. Angle up a little bit more. Keep the hands up. You can push off the slips too. There's a myriad of things you can do with this thing, but start off conservative with it. You can cut to the, you can cut an angle once slipping right there, boom, and go that way. A great tool to use. Work on your defense. Work on the fundamentals. You won't, they won't let you down in the ring when you need them most.